I'm in Photoshop and I've created a graphic banner for my website. As you can see, it's just a simple uh, background image with my website name on top of it. And this is actually the wrong way to create a graphic banner for uh, a backlight website. And I'm going to show you why that is. So if I move over to backlight, um, I've already uploaded the image to the server. So it's ready to go. It's in backlight. I just need to add it to my template. So in my page template, I'm here under the masthead control group, and I'm going to scroll down to the primary masthead set of controls, um, which I've passed. Here we go, primary masthead. Um, so the first thing I want to do, I know that my graphic banner has an aspect ratio of three to one, so I'm going to set aspect ratio three to one. And if I go ahead and update that change, um, you can see that it will give me a nice large working space for the masthead, which is great. Um, and so I'm just going to scroll down a little further into the title logo section, and I'm going to add logo image and select my graphic banner. Update that change. And there it is. And it looks pretty good at first impression. Um, the problem is that when I go into responsive view, um, and this is looking at the website the way that it would look on an iPhone SE, um, you can see that the graphic is scaled down to the width of the device or the width of the viewport. And as a result, the name of my website has gotten really, really small. Like Campania Photography in this graphic is smaller than the about heading on the page which is kind of ridiculous. And the reason that's happening is because when you scale, or when you change the size of the viewport, the image is scaling to that width, and because the title and the background are all part of the same image, the title is scaling at the same ratio as the entire image. And so it just gets really, really small, almost unreadable, um, which is not what I want. I want people to be able to see my website title. So the better way to go about this, and we'll um, let me put this back in desktop mode, I'm gonna go back to Photoshop. Um, the better way to go about this is to create your banner images two separate graphics, one being the background. So I'll just disable my text and I can save this as a JPEG. And then the other being the title graphic. So if I turn my text back on and disable my background layers, then I can go to image and trim the transparent pixels. And then I would save this as not a JPEG, but a PNG 24, because I want to preserve that transparency. Um, so I've already uploaded these as well. Let's go back to backlight and make some changes. So the first thing I'll do is um, disable the logo image so that we can start with a clean slate and you can see as I work. So under add logo image, I've also got add background image. So I'm gonna do that first. So if I turn that on um, and then I select the masthead background that I've created and I want that to cover the masthead area, I can save that change. And so now I have my background and the text is still there. So before I apply the graphic, this just go up and um, make it so that you can see that. So I'm gonna make that white and turn on a text shadow and maybe even increase the font size to, I don't know, 48. Um, and maybe that's my new masthead. Maybe I just want to use a background image and my text. That's cool. Um, but if I want to add that logo graphic, um, I scroll back down to add logo image, turn that on, and then I can select masthead title small. Um, and because I'm on a retina display, iPhones have retina displays, I, you actually want a larger version, which I've also created. So I'm going to turn on the add high res logo image and then also select the, uh, the larger version of that. And one is just twice the size of the other. So it's 100% um, for the larger version and then 50% for the smaller version. Um, but there it is. My, my Graphic logo is now on the masthead. And so when I go into that responsive view, you can see that now because they're separate, they scale separately. So the, uh, the background scales down real small, but because 
the width of the title graphic is much smaller, it doesn't scale by the same aspect ratio or the same ratio, and it stays at a legible size, even on small phone displays. Um, so that's the best way to go about it. And you know, you can tinker with your graphics to get the desired effect.